This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Time for the National A One Make races. We have three races this time instead of two. We have the BMW One Series race meeting, the Civic Sprint, and the Roadster Cup. So, as we have already won our prize card from the National A License Missions, which was the Concept One Series, we're going to be using that, and we're already in it, at the Nürburgring Grand Prix. Five laps around here, which is quite a lot for these power these types of cars relatively low-ish power for a quite a long race our opponents are all one series so like one the 120d 120i 135i our concept one should be an interesting one i'll spoil this now the other two races are single are spec races so yeah anyways let's get it on So here we go. Start of the race here at Nürburgring. The other concept one is just easily getting around the 120s. We just go for the super big dive bomb. Get around six cars in one corner. Or five actually, because we're, we're the other car. I just know it was six cars. I'm dumb. Oh, there's a total of three concept series ones here. Interesting. You know, given the fact that these one makes are just these, like, single races and... I don't know. Makes me think that they were added into the game at the last minute or something. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I just kind of feel that way. Because, like, GT5 at least had the, the one make races or whatever spec series races they had them within or manufacturer races whatever you want to call them they had them sprinkled into the regular events and then this is just kind of like all right well it's just an afterthought and there's not even that many events to begin with actually they changed the camera I meant to do cockpit cam for like two laps and then chase cam for the other two laps and then maybe like bump maybe like roof cam for the last lap um anyways it just makes me feel that way like this was like a last minute addition or something But yeah, given the field, given the fact that the field were all like, we're in the most OP cars that we can get for this race, and it was kind of a mixed bag of like slow cars in front, fast cars in the back. Like we easily just get around everybody by lap one. We have this fucker to deal with, but we should get him into T1. Yeah, we'll get him T1. Kind of the brakes a lot earlier than we did. And now what to do? What to talk about for the next four laps, given the fact that there's nothing going on now. Five laps, it was quite overkill for this race. Given that the other races are significantly shorter. Like, I wouldn't mind so much if the actual competition was stronger. Getting a decent gap. We're, we're gonna finish like 30 seconds ahead of P2 at this point with the amount of raw speed that we have. Now 
Now we're about to pass the next timing section and um, or sector, I mean. And now the question is, we go from five seconds to what? Eight. We ate all the chicane there. Um, I I'm thinking thirty seconds still. Like, by the final scoring loop or whatever, before um, crossing the start-finish line, we'll be, we'll, we'll be 30 seconds ahead, I reckon. At some point in the race. We'll see. I'm just kind of focused and hell bent on making sure I, I try to get that huge lead. Not that we really need it, but I'm surprised the other concept that it hasn't closed the gap. It's so far it's the three concepts are one, three, and five. The base model 135Is are or production model, I should say. They're second and fourth. Then it's a bunch of 120Ds afterwards, and I'm pretty sure the 120Is are all the way in the back somewhere, all alone. No, I, I begin to wonder now if we can catch a 120i by the end of this race. I want to see those three cars of the 120s. I want to see those are the 120i's maybe. I don't think we'll be fast enough to catch the one the the back marker 120i's. I don't think we have enough time for that. But one can certainly try, right? Who's to stop us from actually pushing hard or cutting corners? Twenty-two seconds. Yeah, we're, we're already going to hit thirty seconds easily. I'm not really interested to. Stay after the finish of the race to see where everybody finishes or how far behind they finish. I know Rhino like I know Rhino GT4 likes to do that a lot, but me, I don't really care. It's like we win, we win. At least in this game, perhaps GT1, GTs one through four and even five, like I'll care, but this game not so much because it's just like win. How much do you win by? Yes. Anyways, two laps to go, counting this one. Leaving our skid marks all over the track. Just adding some more, for good measure. Gotta rubber down the track, you know. Give it some grip. Yeah, 29.5. Not even at the fifth lap yet. Not even anywhere close to the very end of the race. We already have what I predicted. We're going to finish the race with like 45 seconds. With like a 45 second victory of margin. A margin of victory. God damn. Can I speak? No. Why am I studying communication studies again? I don't know. Thirty three point eight. My God. I just want the concepts to pick up the pace so we can get a full sweep of the podium. But it doesn't look like it's gonna happen.
Anyways, I'm gonna go with bumper cam. I'm gonna stay quiet for this last lap. I'm gonna try to go for a PB. I'm gonna go for a 218. Let's do this. Yeah, that was a shitty lap. Like, I made so many mistakes. I left so much on the table there. Oh, wow, that was a 12 car field. Okay, I... There were some 120Ds that finished in the back. Uh, all right, screw it. Interesting. Interesting. But yeah, I left so much on the table there, and I... I oofed my own lap multiple times. So, anywho, that is the first race of the National A1 makes down. We got two more to go. And the next one is the Civic Sprints. As I mentioned before, that one's going to take place at Suzuka Circuit. Three laps around there, because I took a look beforehand. And this one's going to be a 2008 Honda Civic Type R1 make. And that's what we're going to go buy, because I want to match the um, the field, I guess. I could be that weirdo and get, like, you know, that 97 model, but, eh... It gets used quite a bit in other Gran Turismo games, like that, the EK. I don't know how often, I don't know if this model will come back in GT7. It probably won't, I'm going to guess. So, yeah, I'm just going to use it. It looks really good. And, okay, look, Championship White is like the typical Type R color, but Super Platinum Metallic with the darker rims, uh, that looks good. I'm going to get it in Platinum Metallic. Sorry, but not sorry for any Championship White fans. Like, that that just looks really clean. Like, I've always associated this particular Civic generation with, like, luxury for some reason. Maybe because uh, that Type R kind of looks like a... If you squint hard enough and look at a certain angle, it looks like a, a Cord slash Acura TSX. But anyways, off to a shorter race three laps around Suzuka circuit the full layout and uh, yeah as you can see all civic type R's how many blue okay so it's just one two three four silvers one white and four blue ones okay a smaller field this time around which is interesting we're gonna leave the comfort softs on just for fun and for a bit of a challenge, I suppose.
Now, this card was actually used in... Okay, I didn't change the camera. Interesting. Um, this card was actually used in, I believe, B6 of GT5? That one Autumn Ring um, exam? And then it's used in one of the exams in GT6 at Spa, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. But yeah, interesting Civic model. I'd love to see it return, but we'll see if it does. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, given that the field is pretty close to each other and we're just going to get past everybody quickly and the race will just be a, essentially a time trial at that point. Now, I think that the last time I drove was... Okay, so like this this kind of reminds me of um, the last time I drove Suzuka with an all spec race was um, in the 2020 FIA Nations Cup. One of the events was um, it was like a Subaru BRZ Toyota 86 one make at Suzuka. I remember because it was Jeffrey Gallon's birthday and Jeffrey Gallon won the race. Him and Mark Pinnell pretty much just led from. They well, Mark Pinnell never led, but they pretty much just walked away with with the win. Like they were just unstoppable. And then I was just getting penalties because track limits and. Yeah, it was basically just one big train, and like if you get if you mess up one little bit in the top split, or you get a penalty, the train gets derailed essentially, and you can go nowhere. Whoa. Although here with the AIs, it's a lot more forgiving. You can do stuff like that and still win because it's a computer. So yeah, more or less the same lap times that we're doing at Nurburgring with the Concept 1. Except the race is shorter, so obviously we'll be done a lot quicker. I forgot to trail break into T1 and 2. I've been out of, like, not counting today, obviously, like, because I've been busy with, like, real life stuff, mainly school. Um, I haven't. I haven't done any sim racing in like a month. The last time I actually did anything is if you guys follow me on Twitch, which Twitch channel is in the description below. Um, I had a 1v1 with PX7 Grove, aka Mike Grove, one of the uh, top 16 superstars in North America for GT Sport. That was the last time I did any kind of sim racing or driving of any kind. Any kind of gaming that I've done was like playing like Donkey Kong Country 2 or Super Metroid or anything retro anything just casual or in recent time uh, Black Ops Cold War which has been pretty cool except the maps are kind of meh ooh we got P2 going for a dive bomb I probably got on the brakes early that's why Oh, nice. My neighbors are blasting music. I'm going to go into mute now just in case I get copyright striked by their very loud um, mumble rap.
Like, I'm pretty sure the microphone isn't picking up the mumble rap outside because of the settings on OBS for filtering in my audio, but at the same time, like, I don't want to be caught with any unnecessary strikes, if possible. You know, just, you just never know. Lately, YouTube and Twitch have been acting really funny with copyright, and like, I don't give a fuck about demonetization. I just care about copyright strikes and takedowns, so like, I don't know. Like, I feel like with GT5, or like, me with my GT5 and 6, with my audio settings, like, I already have them set so that way, like, the in-game music won't get picked up easily. But anything outside, I just, you just never know. Heck, someone got... Someone got a copyright strike on Twitch for from Skrillex or whatever because they they were cooking something on Twitch and they they used a blender to blend something and that I guess was a Skrillex song a fucking blender. Imagine that. Anyways, muting again, just in case. And there we go, race number two of the one makes complete. Only one more one make remaining. And ooh, it's a silver one two for the Civic Type Rs. Oh wait, yes, let's go. So give me my 18,000 credits and let's go take a look at race number three, which is the, ooh, M. Snyder. So that was Matt Snyder, NASCAR driver. But anyways, race number three, Roadster Cup, Asakupa Circuit, eight laps around there, and it's a one make for the NCs. That's an MX-5 that I've always mentioned on stream, and I've always kind of looked at it as like a car. I'm like, ugh, the NC, it looks too big. I don't really like it. It doesn't really remind me of an MX-5 or whatever, blah, 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 blah. Nah, honestly, it's grown. It's actually grown on me a lot. I would use an NA, because NAs are pog, but like... Honestly, I don't even, I don't know if this will come back in GT7 or not. And in case it doesn't, let's go ahead and use an NC. Look at that thing. I think it's cute. All MX-5s are nice. All four generations look badass, so let's be honest. I know there's haters of the NC and ND. I was a hater of the NC before, but no, it's it's actually grown on me a lot over the years. So let's take it around Sakuba for eight laps and race against other NCs. So, car comes with comfort softs from the factory, and um, obviously turn off the assists. Interior is pretty standard for like Mazda cars. Like I feel like a lot of these cars share the same dash; they share the same like interiors in general. Because like, the only MX-5 I've ever driven in real life is the ND, and, like, I do recognize some similarities. Anyways, my, my neighbor's mumble rap is actually kind of distracting me. I think it's getting picked up if I talk. Like, I'm looking at my microphone right now on, on OBS and looking at the decibels, and it's not 
increasing or anything. Like, the bar's not going up if I stop talking. So it might be okay, but... I don't know. This race is looking like it could be a bit tricky because of the comfort softs and given how small the track is. I'm starting to mute the mic now because now I see the actual bars increasing. The music's getting louder, and so I'm just like, okay, yeah, now we might actually start taking action. I'll go ahead and unmute every time I actually have to say something. That was a close one. Bit dumb on my end to corner like that, but eh, whatever. Okay, halfway down, already in the lead, and we're switching over to the chase cam. So, I mean, hey, not really anything else to add, other than just try to hot lap as much as we can, see how fast we can go in the NC. And of course, staying muted because of the mumble rap in the background, sadly.
Well, at least my lap times are improving. I'm gonna do my last lap in, bump in bumper cam so that way I can try to get as quick of a lap as possible. I feel like with me experimenting with the chase cam in this game, just showing off the different camera angles of each of all the cars I drive and stuff, I feel like I'm getting better at chase cam driving. I know several people who use chase cam in GT Sports, so like, you know, Danny Salas, my friend, you know, aka Lamb, my buddy, my teammate from DNA, um, Mitch, um, Dan Mitchell, aka Pelican. I know he uses chase cam. I'd be interested to give it a try. But I just like seeing, you know, every little detail of the corner right in front of me. Like, I know, like, this is good for, like, spatial awareness and stuff, but, like, I don't know. I just really prefer, like, being able to get as low to the ground as possible to see every little inch you can. So, anyways, here we go. Final lap. Uh, I think if I had just cleaned up the lap a little bit, we could have gotten into the 108s. Damn. Oh, well. Um, the entire field was close. But not close enough to me. And on, even on Comfort Sops, which I think they were all on sport tires, um, we, we were still able to pull out a huge win. 10 seconds at Sakuba is a... That's an eternity. But anyways, uh, for now, at least, that is all all of the national a events complete we are finally done with this license section and so let's go take a look at our percentage where are we at now and we are currently at 42 percent nice so thank you so much for watching this video appreciate it next time on grand turismo 6 we will be acquiring our international b license